If you want to sound pro on the piano in 2024, these are the essential skills to master. Number one, mastering chords. The reason to learn all of your chords really well is because they are the foundation of all of your favorite songs. Learn all of the different types of chords from major, minor, diminished, seventh, and more. This way you can easily jump into playing a ton of songs. And that leads me to skill number two, playing songs with chords. Learn how to play from chord sheets. Learn resources like ultimateguitar.com, find the chord sheets, and play the songs. Number three, learn rhythm patterns. This way your chords sound a lot more interesting. So an example of some rhythm patterns could be arpeggios. Number four, learn how to play the sustain pedal correctly. Without the sustain pedal, your music's gonna sound really choppy. Listen to the Adele song without the sustain pedal and then with it. Here's with the sustain pedal. Now with skills one through four, you have actually become a really great accompanist. This is a fantastic skill to have because that means you can play with a band, you can sing and play, you can play with another instrument and so on. But I know you wanna play the melody as well. So let's get to the next skills. But first, let me know how many skills have you learned so far? Let me know in the comments. Skill number five, learn how to read the treble clef staff. These are the notes typically played by the right hand. This is where your ability to play the melody comes in. Skill number six, learn how to read lead sheets. What I was just playing is called a lead sheet and sometimes you might see a lot of lead sheets written in something called a fake book. This is where the right hand plays the melody and the left hand plays the chords. And this is what a lot of jazz and pop pianists use. So those awesome hotel pianists that you see and love playing beautiful music, they jazz it up in their own cool ways. They're usually playing from lead sheets. Skill number seven, but that hotel pianist that we were talking about, they don't just play the chords, they jazz it up. So the next skill is learning how to jazz up your lead sheets. Skill number eight is phrasing. Now we're getting into more advanced skills. This is what I mean. When you're listening to a song, pay attention to when the singer is breathing. So for example, if I was playing happy birthday, pay attention to where I'm breathing. Happy birthday to you. <gasps> I'm breathing right here. Happy birthday to you. <gasps> and so on. You want to mirror that on the piano. So for example, if I was just playing the melody on the piano, it would be like this. Then I'm gonna pick up. All the notes before that were very connected. That's gonna create a much more professional sound when you're playing. Skill number nine is adding dynamics to your songs. This is a way to be extremely expressive with your music and add some feeling. So one way you can do that is like play the verse more quietly than the chorus, end the song slowly and softly and so on. So if a part of the song has a lot of feeling, get into it.
Skill number 10 is extremely important. Learn your scales. Scales really help you build good technique. It helps finger dexterity, it reinforces good hand position, it helps you with music theory. So be sure to check out my favorite scales book to help you along with that journey. If you made it to this point in the video, props to you. I showed you exactly what skills to learn, but I didn't show you how to learn it. That is just too much for a YouTube video. So I recommend watching my free training where I show you exactly what to learn on the piano in order to be able to play your favorite songs much faster. This is my roadmap for how to learn the piano quickly that I've taught to hundreds of students. So to watch my free training, head to the link in the description below. And if this video helped you, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.